If the diagonals of a rhombus are 12 and 16 units, find its perimeter. So this question is ito sa mga topics sa grade 9 math. Hello mga Habiters, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Habiter Rav and for today, we are going to deal with this extra math challenge question. And here is the question. If the diagonals of a rhombus are 12 and 16 units, find its perimeter. So this question is ito sa mga topics sa grade 9 math. Okay, ngayon mga Habiters, para masolve natin yung problem na to, yung una natin gagawin is idodraw muna natin yung figure ng rhombus. So, eto yung figure ng rhombus. And sa rhombus, yung apat niya na sides ay equal lang. So, equal lang ito, dito, dito, at eto. So, equal silang apat. And sa rhombus mga kahabiters, yung angle ng rhombus is hindi necessary na 90, unlike sa square. Ngayon, yung diagonals naman ng rhombus, nagbisect sa isa't isa. That means they cut into two equal parts. So, ito yung diagonals ng rhombus. Diba, nag-bisect sila sa isa't isa. So, that means, this is equal to this, and ito naman, equal dito. Ayan. So, ngayon, from the given, yung length ng diagonals natin ay 12 and 16. So, 12 divided by 2, that is equal to 6. That means, the length of this is equal to 6 and also, this is also equal to 6. Ngayon naman, yung isang, yung isang diagonal ng rhombus is 16. So, 16 divided by 2, that is equal to 8. So, the length of this is equal to 8 and this is also 8. Ayan. And sa nakikita nyo dito, nakaka-form tayo ng apat na right triangle. Kasi ito dito, this is equal to 90 degrees. So, nakaka-form tayo ng apat na right triangle. And, yung inahanap natin sa problem is the perimeter. When we say perimeter, that is the length or the sum of the sides of the figure. So, para makuha natin yung perimeter ng rhombus na to, kailangan muna natin kunin yung side ng rhombus. And, para makuha natin yung side ng rhombus, kailangan natin i- kailangan natin kunin ito or Kung lalagay natin yan dito, makakaform tayo ng right triangle. This is equal to 6. This is equal to 8. And para makuha natin ito, kailangan natin gamitin yung Pythagorean theorem. Diba? This is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So, yung Pythagorean theorem is A square plus B square is equal to C square. And yung A and B natin, yan yung legs ng right triangle. And yung C, yan yung hypotenuse. So, A is equal to 6 and B is equal to 8. So, substitute, substitute natin yung values ng A and B. So, we have 6 square plus 8 square is equal to C square. And 6 square, that is equal to 36. 8 square, that is equal to 64 is equal to C square and 36 plus 64 that is equal to 100. So we have 100 is equal to C square and para makuha natin yung value ni C kailangan lang natin kunin yung square root ng both sides. So the square root of 100 is equal to 10. So that mean and the square root of C squared is equal to C. So C is equal to 10. So ngayon yung hypotenuse natin dito is 10. And di ba yung hypotenuse natin, yan yung isa sa mga sides ng rhombus. So, this is equal to 10. Same dito, this is also equal to 10. 10 and 10. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung perimeter, ia-add na lang natin lahat ng sides niya. Sides niya. So, erase muna natin ito. Ayan. So, the perimeter of a rhombus is equal to 4 times its side. So, yung side natin is equal to 
10. So we have P is equal to 4 times 10, which is equivalent to 40. That means our perimeter is equal to 40 units. Ayan. So, kung may natutunan kayo mga kahabiters, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And before tayo mag-end mga kahabiters, sagutan niyo muna tong question na to na same lang sa ano, same lang sa sinolve natin kanina. Pero iba yung given. So, eto. And kung may sagot kayo mga kahabiters, pwede niyong i-comment sa comment section. And again, I am Habiter Ralph. So, I am Habiter Ralph. And that's all for today. So, stay negative sa COVID.